Welcome back to the Billabong Pipe Masters in memory of Andy Irons. You're in for a treat. We've got the Women's Pipe Invitational hitting the lineup now. Ten world titles between these women. Carissa Moore and Stephanie Gilmore considered two of the great Hall of Famers. And Tyler Wright is certainly on her way. As we cut to live action, Steph Gilmore, look at the style and grace that this woman possesses. Next level. And Tyler Wright having a look at one there. It shuts down uh, a world title. It is a specialty event. It's really just the honour of competing here at Pipeline for these women, but they are definitely all looking to get the edge on each other before the new championship tour season kicks off. Well, bottom line is, as we see uh, Silky Steph just kind of coast through a wave, uh, all three of these surfers have uh, different qualities that I think are insane to really kind of see the, the difference between Stephanie Gilmore, obviously style, flow, she has the edge, Carissa, power, for sure, she throws the most water. And then Tyler, you know, our world champ this year, has the most spark, I would say, the most kind of thrust through her turns, uh, maybe the most zip, and she's unpredictable, so. Get two of the most unbelievable rides uh, in their category. Uh, in women's surfing, she free surfed two of the best waves that we saw all year, and you know, that doesn't always happen. An amazing year, we just saw a wave for Carissa Moore and it didn't really work out the way she would have liked. Let's see what the world champ can do now. Tyler Wright taking off, driving off the bottom. And it, it looks like Tyler's keen to put on a show out there, trying some new moves, going for a big grab, grab rail uh, throw tail there, but it didn't work out. Steph Gilmore maybe a little more composed at this point. Beautiful first turn there, driving off the bottom. All style. And she's going to bring it right through to the inside now. So a beautiful looking ride, Steph. Put her on a long running right hander and she's, uh, she's going to take it apart. The, that interview she did before she paddled out, um, she's got that little twinkle in her eye where she's like, yeah, I'm here. I want to take this thing out. Uh, she's just ultra competitive. Reminds me a lot of Kelly Slater. You know, even though she's won six titles, she wants to win every single heat she suits up for. This wave right here, Ronnie, very silky effort. Didn't quite have that one crazy move, but ripped through a couple of really nice carbs on rail right there. Look at that technique. Wow. Actually stomping on the tail a little bit, so more of a snap. And then she's going to switch it up here, lengthening the turn out with a bit of a cutback carve. So again, this is kind of a reserved Stephanie Gilmore, just kind of finding her groove. Makes you want to cry, it's so pretty. Such a good surfer. And Tyler right now finding some cover on the inside. She's put in a lot of time here at Backdoor over the years. She loves surfing this wave. It's a little different, the lineup today, but Tyler, she'll not just score for that ride. 25 minutes to go. Steph Gilmore's about to go into the excellent range for her last ride. Let's see if Carissa Moore can get her heat started here. That wave just cupping out a little. Carissa doesn't like it. She's going to get on out of there. It just sets up that beautiful style so well. Just uh, over 23 and a half minutes remaining now. And we'll have a look at the replay of Tyler's ride. Finding the barrel on this one. Yeah, Tyler competing well on this wave. You know what I mean? Like putting together a couple maneuvers and then all of a sudden that wave gutted out. She tucked in for a little tube time. A tricky section right here. And again, just making sure she finished. So a solid effort there, 6.3. But again, the nine judge is really happy with a combination of different maneuvers from Steph Gilmore on a quality wave. Picture her at Bells. I mean, it's almost like that wave is made for her. She can uh, get to that level where no one can touch her. Well, here she is. Let's see if uh, she can track down her rivals here. Tricky wave to deal with. Drifts up over the foam. Well, again, you can see the conditions out there. Absolutely perfect with this northeast trade wind. Steph's trying to roll into one. Using priority for this wave. She'll want to convert it into a big number, but it's a, a bit of a... Carissa, she hasn't really found a score to keep yet. Well, back to live action now, and Tyler Wright trying to have a shot at the lead here. Nice cut back to get started. Drew it out beautifully. Goes to that little layback jam. It didn't really pan out too well for her. Uh, down to the south, so you, you need the, the swell to kind of find its way in here. It's kind of slotted in between, isn't it? As we see Gilmore, a nice looking wall here. First turn strong. Adds the extras, the second move, drifting that tail, maintaining control. And she kicks out. So just a couple of moves, but only looking to improve on a 4.17. So smooth, too. Didn't catch an edge, though. 
Well, Tyler right now loading up a lot of speed for this section. Drifts the tail. Didn't quite get the release she was looking for. Here we go, Carissa Moore using priority for this one, stalling for the barrel, gets some cover. The wave tries to clamp her, but she refuses to fall. And that's going to be her best wave. The most important number for Car Carissa on the screen is the clock. Still seven and a half minutes to go, and she's finally made a move. Perfect technique, Ronnie. Just a little barrel there. It didn't have a, a lot of wall on it, so uh, she did the right thing. She stomped on the brakes with her arm tucked her arm in the wall and slowed down enough to get some cover up. Tyler saw that that wave was just a one, it had one section on it. So she said, ah, I'm not going to you know, invest too much effort into that one turn. So pretty much just a kick out. First exchange, she was able to fight back in the end and get the win. Here we go. Steph Gilmore now using priority for this wave. Nice first turn. Just a bit of flair there as she kicked that tail through that second move and just a tidy floater to finish. This is going to be a pretty solid number. Already holding on to a 9. Was counting on a 4.9 for a previous wave. Expecting her to go a little better on that last one. I don't think that score is going to um, compare to the 9, but I actually like the way she surfed on this wave better. I think physically she just got a little more involved. She threw a little more muscle into it. That first turn really stomped on it. Then she slid the tail on the second one. And then just a clean finish. So, I mean, Steph, you can tell she is competing, Ronnie. I agree with you. She's not out there just cruising, thinking, oh, it's just a specialty event. She's easily going to get rid of that 4.9. She's trying to tap back into that winning feeling. It's been so long for Steph. I think the judges were spot on with that score. You know, it was a sneaky one because it was a small wave, but she just gutted that thing. All right, time to make a move for Carissa Moore. A lot of speed here. What's she going to do for us? Waiting for the section. Nice hit, but that's all she's going to get out of that ride. Two and a half minutes to go. Tyler gets priority at the back. Time running out. Well, this one is coming to a close. We're into the final seconds now, and it looks like Steph Gilmore is going to uh, easily shut down her rivals. And she is psyching. A healthy heat score total. 17 points for a 9 and an 8. Tyler Wright claps her on. Good buddies, and of course, uh, Steph Gilmore was there. In, uh, in Europe with Tyler to let her know she'd won the world title. So I'm sure Tyler's happy to see Steph get a victory here in the Women's Pipe Invitational. Carissa Moore didn't have the heat that she wanted, but uh, no one's going to forget who dominated when the waves were really firing out here at Pipe last year. Carissa went mad then.